every month. It's August, September. You may even. The Rock's dad, right? The Rock's grandfather. November 1970. Great Pampero. Pampero Stevens. I remember that was a brutal. It was a cage match. Brutal. I mean, they were both bleeding like crazy. April 25th, 1970. What birthday were you celebrating? 14th. 14th 14. birthday. And this might have been one where, I don't know if my dad went with us. Or if this was one where me and my buddy, we took the bus from Sunnyvale all the way up to the Cow Palace at 14 years old. <laughs> and we took from Sunnyvale to Daly City and we would go to the rest. We'd get let, let off at the bottom of Geneva Street. We'd have to walk all the way up to Geneva Street to the Cow Palace. And then we would get on the bus and come home. And we'd get home at like, because the show had to be over at 11. Mm. And so we'd get home at like 10, 30, 11. 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock in the morning. They just let us off at the bus station. We'd walk home at 14, <laughs> 14 years old. Now, you were saying your grandpa used to take you to wrestling events yeah. at the Cow Palace? Yeah, my uh, my stepmom's dad, uh -huh. he was the one that got everybody involved in this. Uh -huh. And so we used to go, it'd be, uh, it'd be Al, and then my dad, and then me. And uh, so I was little, little. Uh -huh when we went. My dad actually made me a seat. He made a bench for me with two hinges and we carried it in a paper bag and they always stopped us and say, what's in the bag? And he'd say, well, it's a, a booster seat. <laughs> so he actually made a booster seat for me and then we'd set it there and then I could sit on it. And then, and you then, could then see. I could see. Yeah. Because everybody would always, some tall guy would always, and I was little. Yeah. I was like Flynn. And, uh, but yeah, so I started going to the wrestling matches when, when I was like, Flynn's age with my uh, with my step grandpa and my dad. So that's why this is such a big deal to take your grandkids now to the Cow Palace. To Cow Palace, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to go because on the wall there they had they had pictures on the walls, and the biggest event ever to happen there was a wrestling match between Ray Stevens and Pepper Gomez. It was the biggest crowd they've ever had in that building, mm -hmm. and we were there. <laughs> but I mean, I just can't even believe I found this in here. So. Like, my hero. Ray Stevens? That was the best. That was, even signed. that was signed by Jeff Carter. He was the announcer. <laughs> and then he was actually the voice of the San Francisco Giants. Oh, really? And so when I started doing announcing, I wanted to be just like Jeff Carter. Because mm -hmm. he was like the voice of God. Yeah. He was awesome. And then it's also signed by Earl Menard, who was Mr. Universe. And that's him right there. So this program was signed by him as well. Nice. So, and then we we're just messing around in here, and we found <laughs> we found an autograph. We found an autograph in here, which I was like shocked because I don't even remember that, but got this signature of Cyclone Negro. Yeah, yeah, right there. The Black Cyclone. Yeah. So yeah, so these were a lot of the programs, and then I've got ones from actually when we went because this was a different association here. And so there's, you know, Pat Patterson. And, but this is when they did the big time wrestling on TV. And we actually did a show when I was announcing wrestling. Mm -hmm. And DeMarco was there. He was actually there. And so we had a really, it was great. We had a really long talk. We talked about all the great guys. And I talked about a special match that he had with Ray Stevens when they put his manager, Dr. Ken Raymond, they put him in a cage up above the ring so he couldn't interfere in the match. The old shark and cage he, above the ring. Yeah, and he just talked about what a great group of guys they had. Mm. And now he he's probably gone now, maybe, I don't know, but, but he owned a uh, deli in San Mateo. So he ended up staying in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the area. But see, then here was Pepper Gomez, the man with a cast iron stomach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll never forget the time when he was supposed to wrestle Stevens. And they, uh, they had some guy came out, they set up a ladder in the ring, and the guy jumped on Gomez's stomach. And then Stevens came out and he said, oh, well, that's what I could do that. And so they said, yeah, go ahead. And so he came up and his finisher was the bombs away, which was the knee to the throat. Mm -hmm. So he's on a 10 foot ladder and he gives them the bombs away <laughs> off the top of the ladder. And it was like one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> 
It was really, really cool because he was my favorite guy, even though he was a, a bad guy, but he was he was a great, great guy. Oh, oh my God, there he is with his son. So that's the granddad, and that's Rocky Johnson. That's Dwayne Johnson, the Rock's dad. Yeah. And his grandfather. Yeah, Rocky, like, yeah, Rocky Johnson is making it big. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so somebody rest, actually wrestled a wrestled bear. Wrestled the bear, yeah. Actually wrestled the bear. Ted, standing a full eight foot one and weighing 724 pounds, can master the headlock, the bear hug, the flying mare, the takedown, the hammer lock, and front left takedowns. <laughs> Ex extremely exciting rules state the bear must wear a muzzle while wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is really pretty special. Tomorrow's going to be a really special day. I'm really, really anxious to see uh, to see this, but I mean, I just can't. Even... Dad, when was the last time you were here? I was here with you. Oh, it had to have been early 90s, maybe? When we came to WCW Super Brawl? Yeah, that was, that was the last time I was here. I think that was the last time I was here, too. Probably you, too, huh, Bob? Probably. I don't really remember. You don't remember Super Brawl? I don't remember being here, so it's pretty exciting. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fast Pass with us. I'm Jason. I'm Flynn. I'm Remy. And today we are here at the I'm Cow Flynn. Palace in San Francisco, California to watch AEW yeah. Wrestling. Isn't this awesome, guys? This is Remy's first wrestling show. We're going to watch AEW Dynamite. It's not just us. We're here with Papa Ken, Uncle Bob, and Dubs. <laughs> So let's go check it out. We're officially in. Woo! Look, look there's a whole crew. Yes. Rams, are you excited? Your first wrestling show, dude. Excited? Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're we're pretty close actually. This is not bad at all. The last time we went to an AEW show was when we went to Vegas, huh? Went to Double or Nothing. Are you excited? This is your second show. First time at the Cow Palace, though, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of history here. Papa Ken's been here a lot. When he was a kid, he grew up coming to this stadium. When he was your age, he was coming to this stadium. Pretty wild, huh? And as you can see, like, look at the arena here. Like, it's called the Cow Palace because they do a lot of, like, rodeos here. That's why it's called the Cow Palace. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, boys, what did you guys think of the show? Good. Okay, Bob, what was your favorite match of the night? A ladder match. I don't think there was any anything that could have beaten that match. No, that match was insane. And Dub slept through most of the show, right? No, actually, once, um, once Dynamite started up, he woke right up. So he stayed awake the whole time. Good. That was Remy slept through most of the show. No, my eyes were open when I was in this. <laughs> Dad, what was your favorite match? Oh, ladder match, not even close. Probably one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. How great was it to be back at the Cow Palace? It was awesome to be back here. Yeah. I mean, we've been coming here five generations of family members. So we've been coming here for over 50 years. Yeah. 55 years, yeah, 55 or almost 60 years. Yeah. So that's just uh, really cool, it's a very special night. It's not AEW, but wrestling has, has been around for a long, long time at the Cow Palace. Okay, so we're home now, and I just wanna share my thoughts. It was really, really great getting to go to the Cow Palace. I hadn't been there since like 2001 or, or 2000. It was a WCW pay-per-view that uh, my dad had taken my brother and I to, and it was really great to share that with, with my kids. And the card we saw was awesome. A lot of great matches, and there's just 
with our family in the cow palace it's really really cool to see that my great great grandfather had gone my grandpa had gone my father me and my brother and then our kids now have gone to the cow palace for wrestling events uh we're a big wrestling family and um it was really, really great to have wrestling back at the Cow Palace once again. And, uh, yeah, it, it was a great time. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll see you real soon.